Alright, so this will be a homemade CRT experiment in which a vodka bottle uh, was thoroughly drank, emptied, dried, and then filled with a phosphorescent based powder. I have a positive electrode that leads to the inside of the bottle, and I have the negative or cathode where the electrons are emitted. <coughs> I would like to note that the geometry of this on the inside of it is a cylinder with a backing wall so all of the electrons are focused towards the center of the cylinder and fired out through in a sort of beam down and then it lights up the uh, phosphorescent so I've got two uh, rotary pumps one or they're both running series uh, to pump down to as low as possible I've got a mosquito power supply, mosquito zapper power supply running through a 10 stage um, voltage multiplier, pretty sure that's what it's called. And alright, let's go ahead and get started. Oops, hang on. Would help if I connected the leads first. Usually that helps. Let's see. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to cut the lights in a second. Just sealing everything up. This will also show the mean free path increase and how a lot of other vacuum pumps don't pump down to the right pressures. Okay, cutting lights. for the camera to see but there's a very weak plasma being formed and I'm about to turn on the second pump and the camera's barely picking up any of this okay so you can start to see the main free path over here Notice there's no fluorescence yet because the electrons are still running into so many atoms that uh, that they can't strike any of the phosphors yet. So the main free path is increasing here. Let's see if we can get a better view. No, of course not. This is a terrible camera for low light conditions. Oh, here we go. Starting to get some phosphorescence. All right, so the main free path actually isn't very long right now. But it is growing, and it's getting to be enough to start lighting up that phosphorescence. So, here we go, it's getting brighter. There is no plasma on the uh, positive terminal anymore. So, I think that's kind of interesting. Also, I'd like to note that this is flickering to the camera because it's running off of a line power supply. So, you can't even really see the uh, main free path, like, I guess, uh, cut off, what have you, anymore. So, I'll grab a magnet and do some deflecting. So, you can see easily deflected by magnetic fields. I would say the acceleration voltage is probably around 70 kV. 70 to 80 kV, and since it is a uh, cold cathode, it's probably going to start sputtering out any second now. Let's do some magnetic focusing. I want to note also that as the vacuum increases, the size of that circle increases. You can actually visibly see it growing larger. I personally think that's due to um, the higher vacuum, the electrons are not running into as many atoms, and statistically, more of them are accelerating the entire length uh, freely. So they end up with a higher kinetic energy at the end and are therefore less deflected by the magnetic field. So you can see that it's already expanded just in the last 30 or so seconds. So. 
And also, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but I can get a shadow effect of the wire that's in there. Let's see. Okay. Yep. There we go. Hang on. Let's see if you can get it. See the uh, shadow effect right there? The wire moving around. It's because I'm manipulating the electron beam with the uh, magnet. So if I take the magnet away, you can kind of barely see the outline. It's only whenever it moves that you can see it. So over here, I'm videoing the cathode itself right now, and you can almost see no plasma. There's actually almost no plasma visible in the entirety of the chamber. Also, I want to note that the majority of the electron glow is simply at the back of the chamber whereas before it was partially in the middle as well. So bring a magnet in again, get some of that streaking effect going on. Sorry, terrible cameraman. Wow, that's bright. And without electrocuting myself, and let's see. Trying to get him get that focused right on a bulk of phosphorescent powder right there. I did build a uh, an X-ray tube which did put out X-ray photons at this at these low pressures. So eventually the vacuum pump will continue pumping down to a point where um, the uh, electrons can no longer flow, and it starts just sputtering, and then eventually plasma will stop flowing so all right i think that should be it if you have any other questions or something just post a comment